Hey everyone, this video is going to cover uh, a lot of the shortcuts that we find in Photoshop. I'm also going to be uh, putting up some worksheets in um, the resource folder or probably just inside the assignments folder so that you can always get to them. Um, shortcut keys are really great to use if you are in Photoshop a lot, okay? Uh, they can be big time savers. So if you, you know, find yourself working in Photoshop for hours, learn your shortcut keys and I promise you you're gonna save so much time uh, and the good thing about them with the Adobe programs well even on some of the Microsoft uh, programs as well the shortcut keys will be the same like some of the basic ones like saving and opening uh, cutting pasting copying things like that so uh, let's look at I've got 21 different ones down here that I want to go through and um, the first thing we're going to look at is just kind of a review of what I did in that last video <clears throat> where I'm showing you the quick selection tool the brush size so I'm on the quick selection tool and now if I want to change that brush size all I have to do is use my right bracket to make it larger or use my left bracket to make it smaller and these brackets that I'm talking about are the two keys right past your P as in Paul on your keyboard okay and uh, you don't need to use shift or anything it's just the regular key so left makes small right makes large okay that's that is a huge time saver because you're on that brush a lot of times for a lot of different options all right the next one is your zoom tool now uh, as you should know by now most of the keys or most of the tools in Photoshop have assigned letters to them like lasso you can see the L so um, let me bring that back up there. So we've got the L's there, like crop tool. Uh, if you click on that, that's C, uh, stamp, S. So all you have to do is when you're on one tool and you want another tool, like I can just click L right now to get on the lasso tool. And that gives me the lasso. Now what if I want the crop tool? I can just hit C and that gives me the crop tool. Uh, if I want the lasso tool again, I just hit L. Okay, uh, so that is how you change between the different keys. Now what the Z is what we would have for zoom. And it automatically comes up with the um, zoom in because you see the little plus sign there in the magnifying glass. So if I click, it's going to zoom in wherever I'm clicking at. Um, so I can click right on that eye and it's going to keep zooming into that eye. Now, if I want to zoom out at this point, all I have to do is hold down my Alt or Option key, and it changes that magnifying glass to a negative. So it will start taking away. It'll start bringing it back down to size. Um, another way that you can make it uh, uh, go smaller or larger is using the scroll button on your mouse, okay, the little wheel on your mouse. So like right now, I'm just holding down Alt or Option, and it's just scrolling back and forth, okay? Um, you can also just click and drag and notice how it's going right into where my magnifying glass is. So I'm targeting an area by doing that. Uh, for instance, if I wanted to work on this lady's lips, I could just click and keep holding and it just makes it bigger and bigger. I don't even really have to drag there, okay? Um, now I want to go down, so I'm just going to change that back to option again, Alt Option, and click, and it'll go down. But if I just click and hold my mouse button, it just keeps going in. Isn't that pretty cool? Alright, now um, let's say that I'm working on these and then I'm just like, okay, I want to zoom back out and see how it looks. The easiest thing to do with that is just do a command or control plus zero. Okay, so that's uh, the number zero. Okay, so command zero on mine, control zero on a, on a Windows machine. And that is a shortcut key for uh, fit to window. All right, now uh, let's see, what have I missed here? I've got, uh, oh, another thing I want to show you. So we're on the zoom tool and I want to go back to the last tool that I was on which I think was the lasso tool. So if I want to do that all I have to do is hit W on my keyboard. 
Okay, that actually took me back to the quick selection tool. Um, but let's see how that works. Now I was on Zoom tool last, so let's hit W. Okay. Let's try crop and then brush. Oh, okay. I see what it is. It, it, it's the last tool that you actually did something with. So W will take you to the last tool that you actually used. Not that you clicked on, but that you actually used. All right, uh, let's see what else we got. Fit to window, I already went over that. Uh, okay, to select all. Let's just say that um, I had, let me put a new little layer in here and I'm just going to uh, use my paintbrush and we're just gonna paint a little flower here, okay? I know that's a horrible painting. Uh, but then I've got three layers here, or I've got two that are on, so I want to select all. I can just do Command A, and that will select everything on there. Hmm. Yeah, it's it is selecting everything, but it's also doing a uh, doing my slices. So um, let's try this. Let's put uh, something a little bit more solid in there and see if that will work better for us. Whoops, let go of that. That, I'm going to deselect there. And I'm just going to do a edit fill here. Fill that with the uh, foreground colors, fine. Okay, so now I actually have two things on this layer, and but I want to select them both. Uh, then I can do Command A. Uh, it says move tool because no layers are selected. Uh, I'm going to click on that and do a command A. And then it's going to select both of them and it has them in the box here. Okay. Um, and then I can move them both. That's kind of what throws you off a little bit. It did me too. Uh, it, the show transform controls are on. But you don't really see the marching ants until you actually go to move the items and then they'll pop up there and your little free transform box will come around them. And then to deselect, remember, is Command D, Command or Control D will deselect your, your whatever you have selected. All right. Um, then, uh, okay, this is definitely one that you're going to want to learn. It's probably one of the keys I use the most is Command or Control Z. Command or Control Z. And what that's going to do is going to let you undo one step. Okay, so let me just throw this away. Oh, I copied it. Okay, well that's good. Let me just Command Z. See, it, it did the last step that I did in Photoshop, whatever the last thing is you did, Command Z will take it away. Now, Unfortunately, it is not like InDesign, and you can't just sit here and keep hitting Command Z, Command Z, Command Z, and going a step further back each time. But what you can do is you can go uh, Control plus Alt plus Z, or Command plus Option plus Z, and that'll keep taking it a step backward. And I'm just going to deselect uh, Control Alt plus Z, or Command Option plus Z will keep taking you a step backward. And notice how my paintings are disappearing. I keep going a step back. Now, of course, another way to do that, not going through the shortcuts, is to just go up here and go to Edit, Undo State Change, Step Forward, Step Backward, and again, here's your shortcut keys for those. All right, uh, some of the very, very common ones are, um, actually, let's see if I can, uh, let me go, I think it's, okay, yeah. I'm going forward in time now, so I'm putting some of this stuff back. All right, so I've got this little oval thing selected, and I'm thinking, hey, I would like that. I want to make another one of those. You know, I'm going to pull it down over her eyes here and do something freaky. All right, and so I'm just going to go Command or Control C. That's going to copy that. Now, if I go Command or Control V, that will paste that. And it pastes it on a new layer, but it puts it right on top of the other one. So it's in the exact location. So you have to click on it and move it over. All right.
Uh, if I wanted to cut something from one area, then um, I could select, you know, just click on it and then go command or whoop, command or control. Sorry, I have a keyboard shortcut set up on my Mac as well. Uh, command or control X. Uh, let's try that again. Okay. Well, it didn't actually. Okay. Typically, when you cut something, uh, it will actually remove it from that area. But I bet I could paste it now and it would still come up on a different layer. So it's not. Photoshop's not letting us cut. Um, but I bet if it was a selection, it probably would. Let me try that. Um, let's get on this layer here. Make sure that's the one. Yep. And select that and then do a command X. Yeah. So it, these, you know, it, it cut out part of that selection, but it's not allowing me to cut the whole thing out. Now it is selecting it there. So if I wanted to delete it, I can just delete it from here. Okay. Now the, um, one that I use a lot is Alt Control plus I or Option plus Command plus I. And that is image size. And we'll get into image size a little later on, but you're going to use uh, this feature quite a bit, or you should be anyway. So that's what that brings up. It's your image size box. It's where you work with your resolution. And you'll become very familiar with this before long. Uh, command plus control, command or control plus zero opens a, or not zero, O, the letter O, opens a file. It goes to file, it's the same as going file open. Okay, uh, my computer's doing a little spin thing. Hopefully it won't shut down on me. Okay, and here is, it just goes to whatever your last folder was that you did anything in and starts looking in there. Uh, so you can select a file. Command or Control plus S is for save. You need to do that quite often as well. Uh, it's also the same as going to File and Save. Uh, also look here, we're going to do File, Save As, and that is Command uh, or Control plus Alt or Shift. Let's see. Oh, okay, okay. Command or Control plus Alt or Shift for a Mac uh, plus S is going to be a Save As. And remember now, a Save As is different than a Save. A Save is just going to save over what, what you've already named the file and you've already got it someplace. Save, I, save As is saying, hey, I want to save this file to something different. I might give it a different name, might be a different file format or whatever. So you're saving another copy of the file. Um, command plus uh, Q or Control plus Q is to quit Photoshop. And then Command or Control plus P is P as in Paul will give you the print options. Okay, um, And that's something you'll use a lot once you're uh, in business. You'll be wanting to print out a lot of your proofs. Uh, what else did I miss here? How about Control or Command plus T is free transform. And uh, you first have to be on a layer, and actually that transform pretty much comes up anyhow. Um, but it will allow you to do all kinds of crazy things with your file, you know, or with your object there. Um, and then Control or Command plus K is your preferences. And uh, preferences, like, there should be a whole chapter about that in your book, I think. But just go to, uh, if you want to set anything up by default, just go into your preferences and change the things here. Now, the one thing to keep in mind about preferences is if you are wanting it to be at a document level, the change to be at a document level, so you just want to change this one, uh, say this document here to show inches on the ruler, then do it while the document's open. But if you want to change it for all your documents, then do not have a file open and then just go to uh, Photoshop preferences. I think on a PC it's file preferences. 
All right, I hope this helps. Let me know if you have questions.